the discussion of prevention really is essential today uh, around the world, but certainly in America, because we are seeing steadily increasing incidence rates for breast cancer, and those rates are disproportionately increasing more steeply in young women. Now, a lot of it is probably related to obesity, and if we could control the obesity epidemic in the United States, we would probably decrease overall cancer and certainly breast cancer rates by about 30%. So that's definitely a prevention that's, that's strategy a that we absolutely Has have to. Has it started? Is, is there any GLP? correlation? Could, I've been told that there's an increase in early menarche. Yeah. And is that, that does that have an impact? That might be related, but I, for the most part, uh, the rising rates in breast cancer, there may, have be, there may be some reproductive childbearing factors playing a role, but obesity is probably huge. And we're also, I think, just starting to see some of the long-term effects of COVID. You know, the COVID shutdown led to rising obesity rates, poorer exercise activity levels. Those lifestyle patterns increase breast cancer risk. The COVID epidemic had a major impact on breast cancer research. During the shutdown, research resources were shifted towards infectious diseases and COVID, so we lost time in breast cancer research. And then there are the after effects of all of that, which makes the importance of uh, funding provided by Breast Cancer Research Foundation that much more critical. We have some catching up to do in terms of the research that was thwarted because of the, uh, the, the COVID experience. And you know, one thing I think we should, for me, one wish I have for this world is for all of us to stop saying that mammograms are at 40. Mammograms depend on your lifetime risk, the timing of that mammogram. When we keep saying mammograms at 40, mammograms at 40, we're missing all the high-risk patients who, you know, high risk is defined as lifetime risk of 20% or more, right? And for patients with lifetime risk of 20% or more, they need to start imaging as early as 30. If you have a BRCA mutation, you can start at age 25. So when you when we keep talking about mammograms at 40, mammograms at 40, when someone feels something in their breast or they have family history, they're like, well, I'm not 40.